Welcome back to the shop everyone. In this video I want to review the latest successful drop test of our new main landing gear system. I'll start by showing the actual drop test in slow motion and I'll discuss the changes we made and show in the video the indicators that we saw that increased the spring compression that showed the increased spring compression that we were looking for. Our gear is designed to deform in a controlled manner when all of the spring travel has been used up. We're specifically tested for that in this drop test. In the previous test, we found that the spring tube attach bracket yielded by 3 eighths of an inch inward and twisted the bracket slightly. In this test, with a bit softer spring and a mounting hole location change, we were able to reduce the yield displacement uh, of the leg attach bracket to less than an eighth of an inch and we saw no twisting of the bracket flange. The test rig had a little extra water in it in the barrels this time to the tune of about 16 pounds. Uh, again I wanted to make sure that we were you know well over and uh, it was dropped onto stacked cutting boards that were grease that had grease between them to allow the, the legs to the wheels to splay out uh, correctly. The results are all that we could have hoped for. No damage or deformation to the leg assemblies, no damage or deformation to the U-channel support brackets, and we had a controlled yield of the spring attached bracket which is easy to inspect and measure after an excessively hard landing by the pilot. We passed our drop limit test and reserve energy tests for the FAR Part 23 standards and we passed our Transport Canada gear test requirement for, uh, for drop. So uh, again, exceedingly pleased. Um, we've, we've made, we're, we're now making some refinements in the drawings and so that we can have our, uh, our suppliers make the, uh, the proper tubing assemblies for us. Uh, uh, and they come in and they, they literally will we'll be building a welding jig so that we have ex everything exactly square. Um, and you don't, you know, when you install this and it's square to the airplane, you won't have any uh, camber caster or any kind of issues like that. Uh, we have designed it to have just a little bit of um, uh, inboard uh, angle so that when the weight of the aircraft at gross, it'll bring the wheels down to vertical. So. Again, I'm super pleased that, uh, that this has come through. We're now going to be able to start manufacturing them and shipping them to our customers. And this system is generic enough that it will go on any aircraft. So we're going to be offering it as a system for sale on our, um, on our website. And uh, we will have sort of generic widths um, because, as you know, the rod will have to be adjusted by the width of the aircraft to be able to fit properly. Um, but uh, you'll be able to order a custom rod width. Uh, and, and we'd be able to show you that in, in, uh, in the different width packages that we'll have uh, for sale. So again, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to keep it fairly short. I'm not going to put an Algae Yates video this. I'm going to do that on a separate video, uh, just uh, another couple of Algae Yates catch-up videos. So uh, leave, your, uh, you know, leave your comments below. Um, click and subscribe, please. That helps us out uh, immensely. And um, look forward to hearing back your, your comments on this video. Have a great day. Bye. This is Fisher Flying Products. I'm Dave Hertner. Welcome to The Nest. Our video newsletters provide weekly insight into building and flying our 15 wooden aircraft designs. Polini Motori of Italy is a gracious sponsor of our channel. Polini the manufacturer of the Thor 303 DS. Cozy Carb Ice Prevention Systems is a proud sponsor of this channel as well. Please take the time to watch our videos to the end, as this assists us in the metrics that YouTube uses to rate our channel. Hit the like button if you feel that the content is worthy. We invite you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hitting the bell so that you are notified whenever we post our newsletters. I've shown three views of the drop test here so that we can zoom in on the spring attach bracket and see how it reacts. As I pull out the breakable support, we get a fairly straight drop with the right hand wheel touching first. This would simulate a real world scenario. You can see as the drop rig reaches its lowest point that the bracket has stayed in place. As the rig cycles through the bottom, you can distinctly see the yield of the bracket. 
First rebound amplitude is about 40% of the drop height and secondary amplitude is 10% of the drop height. We have a rig weight of 220 pounds and a water load of 920 pounds and we are dropping from a wheel height of 16.6 .6 inches. The plastic cutting boards work properly allowing the gear to splay out. We found that the load was not put entirely into the tires before the spring took the load as in the previous test. This is due to the spring change and the lateral movement of the tires. This is a photo of the rear bracket contacting the rear leg support tube. This is a photo of the front bracket that the spring is attached to. The measured gap here is 0 0.103 inches. You can also see the altered attach point of the outboard horizontal bolt. This reduced the length of the bending moment within the bracket structure. We checked the stainless steel cross rods and found no elongation in the threaded area. There was no binding in the threaded joint when we disassembled it for inspection. All attachment hardware and brackets were inspected for bending and cracking. None was found. Lastly, the leg assembly was checked for any bending or cracking and none was found. We weighed the components for this test system which is designed to fit one of our largest aircraft such as a Dakota Hawk and it came in at 20.6 pounds. This weight does not include the wheels or aluminum cross channels but does include all hardware weight. There will be a slight reduction in weight when we reduce the diameter of the spring tube as the new spring is a smaller diameter. Thanks again for watching. We try hard to bring you interesting content each week. To help us out, please like and share our videos if you feel the content is worthy. To receive the latest info from Fisher Flying Products, click the subscribe button and ring the bell. See you next time in the nest.